Good day and God bless. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your day and what we are about to recognize in it. And we hope to seek and to know you in in all that we're doing and all that we're making life about. And, and so, Lord, we ask that you will bless our time, bless our understanding. And as we share your word, bless our sharing it forward. Maybe it won't be the lesson that I teach, but something that comes to mind that's inspired by your Holy Spirit that engages us in more ways. For Lord, your word can do wonders this way, inspiring so many minds in so many ways that when we come together with those thoughts, with those ideas, we truly become your church. And so, Lord, we ask that you will teach us to stop being so divided about our ideas and thinking that we're right and forgetting that you're right. Lord, we pray for all the righteous people in the world that have everything going for them, that have all the right ideas, that seem to have everything in place and live like they're in heaven and they're missing, they're missing what they're looking forward to. They're missing what comes yet that is your glory, that is perfect joy. And Lord, they know their own emptiness. They know the gaps, even though they're not letting anyone else see them. So, Lord, help us to be present. Even for the people who have have it all sorted out. Even for the people that don't seem to need it because maybe they need it the most. Just that presence, that reassuring walk of faith with someone who would believe with them for a little while. Lord, we... We pray for those who aren't sure what to believe, who will believe a little bit of this and a little bit of that and try to smack something together and call it a life. Lord, the, the fragility of that and the way it doesn't speak from your spirit and, and, is, and is lost to your word. Lord, open their eyes, open their hearts. Lord, let them catch the word on the wind even as it might echo from our mouths, from the beauty of your creation. Lord, your word speaks. Your spirit tells. Help us to listen. And all this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Turning in the, uh, in the New Testament to the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, reading at verse 23. Hear Christ's words. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the Christ, or there, or believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if ye were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So often, <clears throat> you'll hear from the church, this is the word of the Lord. You'll hear from ministers, I speak in Christ's name. And then they contradict each other. Who is speaking in Christ's name? Is it the one with the most convincing argument, the greatest charisma? Perhaps it's the one who has the, the, the most backers, the, 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 the popular trend, the, the most suitable format to the crowd they're speaking If people go about claiming that they have the word of the Lord, then be wary. Because that's not the point. That's not ministry, is to preach yourself as one who has the word of the Lord, but to preach as best you can and as best you can and let the word of the Lord speak. And to let God speak for himself. And to not let your agendas, the, 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 the real fight of ministry is not to come up with the best arguments, but to make sure that your arguments do not interfere with what God is saying. You don't have to prove the point. You have to provide the platform. You have to provide 
the place where people come together to listen to God, not you, not your preacher, not the evangelist online, not me. This morning, I hope we've gathered not to listen to me, but to listen for God. To be given that peace of mind that calls on us to not listen to for oh, this person speaking for Christ and that person speaking for Christ and this person speaking for Christ. But listen to these people in hopes that we will listen to Christ. Open the word. Say a prayer. Go through your day or come to the end of it and reflect. But hear God's word. God bless you all.